standing here in the play yard of Plata County Humane Society. I've been forced into the ice bucket challenge by Cora Hill. Thank you, Cora. But I'm going to step up the game. I've been thinking all along that we should do something for animals. We've raised a lot of money for ALS and it's time to do something for animals. So I'm going to do a $10 donation to ALS and a $20 donation to the Plata County Humane Society. This is my buddy Chino. He wants to go. He wants to go. So for starters, for the animal portion of this, I'm going to dump a bucket of dog food on my head. Actually, Fetty's going to dump a bucket of dog food on my head. So I'm going to challenge as many people as I can think of in a short time period here to do the same and make a donation to their local animal shelter. I challenge Wendy Haugen, Sue Spielman, and all of the members of the Board of Directors of the Plata County Humane Society. I challenge Sue Sternberg. I challenge Aubrey Hicks Bonilla from Durango Animal Hospital. I challenge Rachel Day. I challenge all my family in California, anybody here, John Palla, pony up, buddy. Woody Swayze, same for you. Donate to your local animal shelter. So, without further ado, let's get this over with. Where do I get my stuff off? <laughs> Did you nominate that guy right there? He's getting the ice. <laughs> dry pool so we can save all this dog food. Now to the fun part. And so as to not waste any water, I'm doing it in a dog pool so they can play in it afterwards. For the Ice Bucket Challenge, I challenge Federico Carbone, Jeannie Arnold, and my cousin Matt McLean out in California. Maddie, I expect you to get all the family involved in this, get some money raised for ALS and for animal shelters. Let's do this. <laughs> Why, when there's a pool of food here in 